Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Rizlex Phantom, and today we're back with NBA 2K17. Yes. And I want to thank you guys so much for 1,000 subs. I just hit it to the date I'm recording this, so it's, I think it's November the 19th. This video will probably go up definitely after this, I've edited stuff. But thank you so much for 1,000 subs. I mean, it's not, I know it's not a lot because compared to those YouTubers, but to me, that's a lot of subs. And I mean, it took me a while to get it because, like, my, uh, my, when I first started this channel, I didn't really try very much, but I'm starting to try a lot more. I edit my videos on that stuff to grind. Get those subs, and you guys sub and enjoy my videos, like the videos, and like that. So, I thank you guys so much for that, and just stay tuned for more videos because I'll have a lot more coming out. And once I get the new PC I've been talking about to get in for a while, they'll be stream I'll be streaming, uploading a lot more videos, being able playing a lot more games because I can't do a lot of PC. I can't do any PC games back here. It's trash. So I have a lot more videos coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But in today's video, we're going to be showing off how to get Dimer. Not just the normal Dimer, Hall of Fame Dimer, and this the regular Dimer as well. I'll be showing you how to get just the normal Dimer and um, how to get the Hall of Fame. I'll show you what it does real quick for anyone that doesn't know. Um, pretty much what it does is that um, when you pass someone to the ball... They have an increased chance of making the shot. So if they're taking a jump shot or like a layup or a dunk, and you pass from the ball with Dimer, they'll have increased chance of actually making that. It doesn't work with alley oops though, so just keep that in mind. But it does help with like uh, layups, shooting, and um, like dunks and stuff like that. When you pass your teammates the ball, the, and when they shoot and give you assist, they'll give them a higher percentage of making that shot. So. This, first of all, first off, this badge is a grind to get. Let me tell you that. This and Angle Breaker are the two, well, not exactly hard, but the longest badges to get. I got Dimer at, like, 1,300 assists or something like that. But to get Dimer, you need the like, normal Dimer badge. It's, like, 200 or 400 assists, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I know. I think it, I think it might be 400. It's either 200 or 400. Two, it's 200 to 400 assists around there. It's regular assists, um, like alley oops and all those things. Like anything that counts as an assist, okay? And then to get a Hall of Fame, it is 1,200. But I got mine at 1,300 because I simmed a few games then and there. And simulated assists do not count. So I got mine around like 1,300 assists. But this bat is a grind to get. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get it quick enough, quickly, and so your teammates can actually, like, you know, take the shot after you pass it to them. Because that's a big issue going for these badges. The teammates don't like shooting when you pass them the ball, and they just pass it right away, or like they miss or something. But, anyways, this video will be showing you how to get the badge on my Playmaker 6'4. I made a video on him. Having one go check it out. I recommend trying this player out. So, first thing rookie, 12 minutes. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to play on 5 because I don't want to sit in the game for long. But for when you guys are doing this, put the um, core length on 12 minutes and game difficulty on rookie. So your team has to hit more shots, everything like that. Next, um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. You can get this badge if on any play style. You just can't actually upgrade it unless you're on the playmaker or point forward. If you play 2K, you should know this. Item. I'm just letting people know who don't have the game or they're new to the game. So... I'll see you guys when I actually get into the game. Alright. Once you get into the game, you want to get your guy the ball, obviously. Give me that. Then just get assists. So just pass the ball to your teammates. But what I recommend doing is just running down the shot clock. So, like, because you know how many teammates don't shoot right away. So if you hold the ball, they'll cut in and, of course, he gets fouled. So, um, yeah, just hold on a minute. Okay. Here we go. Now, like I was saying before that guy got fouled. Alright, just hold the ball for a bit. Wait till the teammate to cut. Normally one of the big men or instead of the three-point line will cut for you. So just hold the ball, do whatever. Can someone cut, please? Here, I'll give you down low. Oh, give the ball back. Alright, James in the corner, come on. Of course he bricked. Alright, see so he's cutting in. I pass him the ball. But he can't dunk though, he's a pretty good driver, so. It's good if you're on a team that can, like, you have players that can shoot or, like, um, drive, because that's really helpful as well. And I'll, another good thing is if you all set, uh, do pick and rolls as well with your teammates. So, like, when they set the pick and they can just cut in, give them, you give them the ball. And that, plus it helps with pick and roll, Maestro, and towards your uh, grand badge, which is a good thing. Well, if you're a playmaker, that is. All right. I got the ball now. Here, I do a pick and roll here. 
cuts in. I gave him the ball, but he had stopped. All right, hit that. There we go. Yeah, there counts in his assists. So, like I said before, you need like 200 or 400 assists to get the normal badge, and then you get 1,200 for the um, Hall of Fame version of that. So, I mean, it's a pretty big grind. It took me like all season to get this pretty much. So, you know, it's a grind, but I mean, it's worth it if you, if you play twos or threes or whatever. Or rec or pro am, whatever you want to call it. I forgot about that. All right, even that assist right there. Easy assist. Yeah, so that has been how to get Dimer Badge quick and easy. I hope I helped you guys out. And anyway, if you guys need some help, comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Leave a like down below. If you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos like these. Check out my other videos if you haven't already on tutorials and other type of badges. And like I said before, thank you guys so much for a thousand subs.